Hey, what's up, guys? If you guys haven't already heard, there's been a lot of controversy brewing over Phil Robertson, who is the patriarch of the Duck Dynasty TV show, which is on A&E. And he recently was indefinitely suspended for his comments that he made on GQ magazine in an interview. Now, this is what he said in the January issue of GQ when he was being interviewed. It seems like to me a vagina, as a man, would be more desirable than a man's anus. Trust me, I'm just thinking. There's more there. She's got more to offer. I mean, come on, dudes. You know what I'm saying? But hey, sin, it's not logical, man. It's just not logical. And then um, he asked it what he thought was sinful, and he said, well, let's start with homosexuality or homosexual behavior. And then she's morphed out from there. It goes to bestiality, sleeping around with this woman and that woman and that woman and those men. And then he said that um, homosexuals aren't the only people who sin. You have adulterers, idolaters, male prostitutes, heterosexual offenders, the greedy, drunkards, the slanders, the swindlers. They won't inherit the kingdom of God. Also in the interview, he talked about African Americans. And this is another uh, comment that got him into trouble. I never with my eyes saw the mistreatment of any black person, not once. Where we lived, we were all farmers. The blacks worked for the farmers. I hold the cotton with them. I'm with the blacks because we're white trash. We're going across the field. They're singing and happy. I never heard one of them, one black, not one black person say, I tell you what those doggone um, white people, not, not a word. And he also said, pre-entitlement, pre-welfare, you say, were they happy? They were godly. They were happy no one was singing the blues. And then I'm going to tell you what Annie said. We are extremely disappointed to have read Phil Robertson's comments in GQ, which are based on his own personal beliefs and are not reflected in the series Duck Dynasty. Um, his personal views in no way reflect those of Annie, who have always been strong supporters and champions of the LGBT community. The network has placed Phil under a hiatus from filming indefinitely. Now let's talk about the gay comments. Now for a lot of people who share my same political leaning, which is liberal or left of center and to, on some issues moderate, for us, for him to make those comments, it seems crazy. You see, Phil Robertson's beliefs are very common amongst the majority of people who are fundamentalist, fundamentalist Christians and people who pretty much watch the show and I'm not even trying to generalize the majority of people who watch his show probably have the same views as him so it's not even like the people who are watching his show were shocked when he said that it's just normal to them to us it sounds crazy but to them saying something like that is just normal it's almost as normal as saying hey do you see LeBron win last night or you see that new video game coming out now let me address what he said when it came to African Americans in the 60s now I know Phil Robertson was in his teen years and probably in his early 20s when the civil rights movement was going on during the 60s, but for him to say that African Americans were somehow happy pre-civil rights era, pre, you know, 1960s, and he's now in his like, what, 60s or something like that, 60s or 70s, and for him to make that kind of you know claim that black people were happy back then because black people didn't show any kind of discontent when he was working with them in the field I wonder why maybe it was because if a black person would speak out in the night before the 1960s then they'll be hung from a tree maybe that's why they didn't speak out and for him not to understand that concept just shows you the mind state of these people I mean it's it's, it's like if you want to have reality TV show then what do you expect? What do you expect for these people to behave like? What do you expect them to? What do you expect for their views and opinions to be on? When you have reality TV shows that all they are is just showing how people in different demographics and different jobs live their lives, and when their views sound super freaking crazy to people who don't get their science from the Flintstones cartoon, then yeah. This is what happens. And then people want to make this a freedom of speech issue, which it has nothing to do with freedom of speech. Because if this was a freedom of speech issue, and if his freedom of speech was violated, 
he would have been censored by the government or he would have been arrested or detained. So I don't understand how people can equate this to a freedom of speech issue when A&E &E is a private company. When your job revolves around a public perception of you and a company's public perception and you say a comment like this, then they have every right to fire you, just as you have every right to say those comments. Now, I almost guarantee you 100% that Mr. Phil Robertson will be rehired, and I want to tell you why. The vast majority of people who are offended by what he said do not watch his show. I'm serious. They, they don't, like... The people who do watch this show are the people who find that kind of shit normal. They find those kind of comments to just be something that would be said, you know, as casual conversation. So, for a &E to lose is most lucrative TV show where if you go to any Walmart in this country, you will see... An electronics section, a clothing section, a grocery section, a section for gardening. Then you'll just see a whole entire section for Duck Dynasty. This show makes so much money that from a business standpoint, it'd sort of be stupid for them not to take him back. Because let's keep it real. People that are offended by what he said just don't watch his show. And the people that agree with him watch his show. I mean, I don't, me personally, I, I, I never watched that show. I saw a commercial, and I'm like, I would never watch that show a day in my life. I like TED Talks. I like, you know, science channels and stuff that actually stimulates me intellectually, not shooting ducks. Now, I think everyone... Now, in closing, I think everyone has the right to freedom of speech. And what Mr. Phil Robertson did was he exercised his freedom of speech. Just like A&E had their right to fire his ass for making stupid uh, statements like that. So there's no unlawful anything going on right now at all. But I just find it so ironic that a person who actually created a device that he uses to trick ducks into thinking he wants to fuck them and then on the other hand he wants to condemn uh, consenting adults who just happen to be of the same sex who want to be in a relationship together or get married and he wants to condemn that though and he wants to equate that to human beings fucking animals and the hypocrisy of this if let's say me as an atheist would work for the 700 club I don't know why I would but let's just say I worked for the 700 club right and I had an interview with GQ and I said that you know if you're a Catholic or um, Catholicism that shit leads to having bus sex with children and you're telling me that all these people who are saying I support Phil Robertson because he um, showed his um, freedom of speech you're telling me that those same people would defend me if I made such statements uh, are about um, a certain group of people? I know, the hypocrisy. It's just dripping with hypocrisy right there, man. And that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. Oh, and tell me what you thought in the comments below. Tell me how you feel about this, uh, this whole entire controversy situation, whatever you want to call it. Um, just tell me your views and opinions below. And peace, have a nice day, or actually it's nighttime right now, so have a nice night.